Hi, I'm Jay and welcome back to my channel. It's early morning here at my place as is customary for my longer videos. I have a nice cup of coffee um, next to me and on the other side of me is a huge um, stack of books. I thought I'd um, record um, a little video um, about my haul for the month of May with all the coloring books that I got. Um, and um, yeah, you will see that um, it's uh, way more books than I usually buy. Um, and this is mainly because I uh, the, the month of May wasn't wasn't such a good month for me. Um, I had little time for coloring, and when I had time for coloring, I really didn't feel like coloring it, um, as you will see in my finished pictures video if I record one. Um, and yeah, I did some shopping therapy <laughs> instead and got a little too many uh, coloring books. But the upside of all of this is that I can now show you um, lots and lots of wonderful coloring books. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be, if it gets a bit too long, um, I might uh, split this into two videos because I don't want to rush through the videos. They all deserve to be, um, to have their spotlight here. So let's get right in, shall we? The first book I got is One and 101 Textures in Color Pencil by Denise J. Howard. And it's neither a coloring book nor a book that I actually got in May. I think I actually got it um, in early April and forgot to include it into my last haul video. So I thought I would um, show it off here because I really like this. It's um, like a tutorial book and it has, as it says, 101 um, different um, tutorials for textures. And um, it has all kinds of um, tutorials. It has um, tutorials for people, for animals and insects, for fabrics and textiles, glass and other um, natural uh, materials, food and beverage and nature. And um, I've used a couple of these tutorials um, already and I really um, can recommend this book. It's a really um, good resource if you um, want to color wood, for example, or um, I used it for animal fur. Um, I haven't used the um, skin ones or the, the the hair or the eye, nose, lips ones, but I want to try that too because um, like the step by step guides they're pr pretty short, which also um, sometimes makes them a bit um, ambiguous, but um, also means they're usually easy to follow. So I can really recommend this 101 Textures in Colored Pencil by Denise J. Howard. The next two books I got you've already seen on my channel. This is Zodiac Dreams and this is Wings and Fins by Marlon Tönissen. She's a um, artist based in the Netherlands and she has this very um, gorgeous anime manga style. And um, Zodiac Dreams is obviously um, a book that is about um, all kinds of zodiac, the Western and the Chinese zodiac. And Wings and Fins has pictures of mermaids, angels and fairies. In this lovely manga style art. If you want to see full flip through and review, I have the um, video up on my channel. The next couple of books... Oh, the glare. Um, I got at my last trip to action, as you can already tell. Um, the first one, maybe you have already seen it at V's channel, she got it as Happy Mail. Um, this is a little postcard book with Disney princesses. I think it includes 20 postcards. Um, and it's just portrait of the princesses, so I thought this is really just a sweet little um, way to color um, Disney princesses and to, and to get into coloring them because um, I think I have another book by action and I also have um, a couple of the hatchet um, Disney books um, but I haven't colored in any 
of them yet because I think they're a bit intimidating but this um, might be a good way to start them. The paper is good, um, good quality card. It feels pretty smooth so I don't know whether um, color pencil will work on this but since they have one-sided um, markers will be fine. So this is the Disney Princess postcard book. Um, then I got three more of the mandala books. Um, as you will see in my uh, completed pictures videos, I really fell so much in love with the other mandala book that I got. And um, I think they're um, like seasonal because the one book that I got last time wasn't available anymore and instead there were three others. This one basically with the turquoise border, they, because they're all um, all uh, named the same they're all called mandala fun this is the one with the red border and this is the one with the purple border that's how i have indicated them on my um on my list and they're basically all um like summery spring uh spring like mandalas whereas the other was more um autumn and wintery and i i just love them and they're different artists who did them Uh, one of them is one I actually recognize. This is Sabine van A. She has her own coloring books out on Amazon. And um, yeah, each of these books has 72 um, mandalas. Unfortunately, they're um, double sided. And since I love doing them with markers, <laughs> isn't this precious? <laughs> um, I have to always find one where I don't like the backside. Um, I just, I think they're so gorgeous and um, just sitting on the couch, <laughs> summer is coming, <laughs> that's hilarious, um, sitting on the couch and just, you know, taking the markers and coloring a mandala um, just really helped me calm down. And, yeah. I really love these, I'm so glad they had um, three new books and actually I think I might just you know when one of these gets full just go and buy another copy just to have have it again it's not like um yeah it's more about you know when it comes to mandala it's more about the coloring process than the finished product I feel and then I found this one um this is also from action um their, their brand is always deco time this is just the adult coloring book it has 160 pages I don't think it lists um, artists anywhere and usually I would never buy books like that because it usually means it's only stock pictures and um, those I think are incredibly boring so when there's no artists somewhere then I usually don't don't buy but this is um, different first of all the paper quality is pretty good it's a medium thickness and honestly, the pictures in this are pretty good. I mean, they're obviously by, done by different artists, but some of them, like this one, for example, or this one too, are just really good. I mean, those don't interest me that much, but this one again. And yeah, it just it's a thick book and while there are some pictures that might be stock images or something, there are always some in between that I think are just gorgeous. And I don't know what it costs, like two euros maybe? Like this one for example. I mean, I really would like who, who did this. This is not something you would usually find in a, in, in a coloring book like that. It's just amazing. Yeah, so this book has lots of surprises, you know, whenever I flip through it, I find uh, <laughs> I find different um, images that I think are gorgeous. Um, so yeah, uh, well worth um, the price, the adult coloring book by Deco Time with 160 pages. Um, so if you have an action nearby, you know, do, do, do check, check out whether they have this book. I think um, it's really nice if you like. Um, like this is more Johanna Basford style and it's lots of nature. But again, look at this. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> the next book, book I got um, is admittedly a bit silly. Um, 
This is mostly a book I got because I was in a collection mood and thought, oh, what the heck, I'll take the risk. I got this for um, a very, very, very low price because it's uh, like a used book. It's mostly what the stickers always mean. I think those books are, um, they were in libraries and then the libraries just um, sell them off. It's a German book by Gabi, uh, Gabi Blam and Christiane Müller-Urban and it's called Zauberhaftes Hessen. Um, which is, if you translate it, it's like enchanting Hessen. I'm pretty sure Hessen has an English equivalent that I don't know, but um, it's a it's a state in Germany. Um, that's where Frankfurt is, if you if you know. Um, and uh, I don't know. The cover image looked looked funny. There's no um, flip through anywhere that I know. I don't know of anyone who has this. I don't. Yeah. So I had to get this just just to see. And um, the book basically. Um, depicts several um, interesting locations in Hessen and um, it's mostly um, castles as you can see book castle um, so let me just do a quick uh, flip oh. Um, the art style is very, very intricate. I don't know if it's something I would actually color, but um, well, from a collector standpoint, this is so very unique that I. Um, uh, sorry, so uh, from a collector standpoint, this is so very unique that I'm actually pretty glad I have this. It's a very um, thin book. Um, let me just do quickly, you know, page through. Um, since uh, these depicts lots of castles. Um, I really think it's interesting. It's kind of my um, my style. It's fantasy-ish. This isn't. This looks a bit like my sixties or something. But this one, for example, um, this tells a little story. And yeah, it's all. I'm sorry. The cat can't find a place to. To settle down. Yeah, I'll do a flip through of this, um, <laughs> and uh, just in case anyone is interested in having something super unique. Zauberhaftes Hessen, Enchanting Hessen by Gabi Blam and Christiane Müller Urban. Then I got a book that I had on pre-order um, at Amazon for ages. I can't even remember when I pre-ordered this. This is Birds and Blossom by Marjorie Sarnet. I think I pre-ordered this before this, way before this release, together with um, her new Mermaids book that is also already released, but Amazon is just unable to uh, deliver these books to me. Um, I think I'll just stop um, buying buying them there and getting them at book depository instead even though it's a bit more expensive but just you know a couple of cents or whatever so this is um, a book by Marjorie about well as it says birds and blossom right um, really like the the more scenic ones um, This one, or oh, this one, this is the one from the cover. No. Oh, yeah, it is the one from the cover. As you know, I really love Marjorie's style, and I have almost all of her, her books. This one is so sweet, too. Oh, and I love this one. Yeah, Words and Blossoms by Marjorie Sarnet. Um, the next two books um, I got a bit unlucky with the delivery. This is um, a Julia Rivers book. In Eng This is the German edition and in English it is called I think Cat Doodles or something. I had this on my wish list for very very long and then I saw this again I think on uh, Momi Moose on Misa's channel and she she just reminded me that I really needed this to get this book obviously and then I saw it for um, very very cheap as a used copy 
and um, yeah, I had to get this. This is um, Create Space paper, um, and it's just lots and lots of cats. I mean, isn't this the sweetest book ever? Unfortunately, I don't know how you manage that, but uh, in delivery it got so bent that it um, broke. I don't know whether this happened in delivery or that's because they used they sold it for cheap, so cheap. Um, but the but it even goes into into here the the rips. Um, so I contacted the seller and I uh, from the low price that I paid for it, I got some some taken off. To, and since none of the um, reps go into the book, um, I, I just figured out well, okay. But honestly, maybe I'll just um, get a second copy of this um, at some point. Um, because I think this is so sweet and I'm, I'm so sad that it got, got ripped like this. There's one here and there's another on the back here. Yeah, very unfortunate. And then this is the second book where I got really unlucky with delivery. As you can see, this has a um, like a crack through the cover, which uh, it's because the Amazon delivery person figured, oh, well, this seems uh, like paper so we can fold it over and fold it, flipped it over like so completely and stuffed it into my mailbox. Um, this is Never Stop Dreaming. It's also Julia Rivers book. And I also saw this on um, Momi Mo's Misa's channel. And um, I complained about this to Amazon and then got this book um, for free in the end. And it's um, it, it's mainly just the cover that is um, damaged. And you can see a slight bend here. Um, and it does go through most of the book, but um, since this is not, you know, pictures that um, I want to make artworks out of, I don't mind um, too much. Um, it's like doodles with inspirational quotes um, and when I read those inspirational quotes my my brain always made made something sad or negative out of it so it tells you lots about my uh, mental condition through this month um, this is the cover image um, and I love this the other images aren't of the same style I feel can see that? I personally think it looks a bit different. Um, I would have loved to have more pictures like this in here. Because the others are a bit... Hmm. There's a second book. Um, I think this is the second book and there's a first book in the series. So, But I don't know whether I'm going to, to get this. Um, but maybe they'll, you know, transform a bit after. Call it in. And just, you know, I think those are things that... You can just sit down and color with markers and yeah. Never Stop Dreaming by Julia Rivers. Then I got my first Fabiana Atanasio book. Um, this is Snow White and it is the German version. I actually didn't know they had German versions. This is the German version because um, it was um, significantly cheaper than the English one. I think it also got it used. I'm not sure. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, I think everything is the same. The paper is probably the same. Um, I think even the publisher is the same. Um, and of course, the pictures are the same. So I didn't have a Fabiana book before. And um, when I watched KP Collar's anniversary um, picture, um, and KP is um, re responsible for a lot of my uh, coloring book purchases, by the way. Um, she said, you know, everybody needs to have a Fabiana book. And as you may know, um, the Fabiana Atanasio books um, are partly out. Of, I don't know whether they're all going out of print. Some, I think the English version has been out of print for some time. The Italian, whereas the Italian version is still available. And I don't know, but um, it's one of those books where I don't want to wait for too long before getting it and adding them to my collection because I have a feeling they might go away. So this is Snow White and um, I just love her art style. It's so sweet and um, I don't know why I um, had never before looked into getting these because I knew they existed and um, they're very popular. Many people have them. 
And yet I never, I don't know, considered. But the Fabiana Atanasio Bach has bit me finally and um, this won't be the last book. Um, but I'm pretty sure I will get um, the other books in her series that I like. She has um, books with for all kinds of fairy tales. So Snow White, Visit of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, um, um, Cinderella, The Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, Hansel and Gretel. I think I didn't forget one. Yeah, that's basically the books that she has done. So lots of lo lots and lots of books and yeah slowly going out of print sadly then i finally got the dutch edition of hannah carlson news books soulmates um uh, this uh again i had pre-ordered this on amazon a long time ago and um amazon finally uh, managed to get it to me not without damage to the book but since i've complained so much to amazon um lately about damages i didn't want to bother them about this as well this is the dutch version and um i think this is the dutch my first dutch version of hannah carlson books and um i didn't realize how much difference the paper made i mean can you see how thick this is in comparison, this is um, the English edition of Seasons, and it is significantly thin thinner. Even though I'm pretty sure it has the same amount of pages. And now I'm regretting that I didn't just, you know, purchase all the books in the Dutch edition because the paper is just—it's just stunning. And of course, I personally think this is her um, absolutely best book to date um, by a wide margin. I mean, again, you know that I love um, books with a strong theme and in this book, every double page um, depicts um, soulmates. So a uh, human and an animal that are connected in, in some way. Um, if you wonder where the human is here, <laughs> she's here. And um, she just does it so perfectly. I just adore this book wonderful book and uh, the Dutch edition with wonderful paper too. I, I love this um, publisher. I've talked about this publisher for quite a bit because they um, have picked up um, quite a lot of um, artists that were very hard to um, get here for us, like Kuno, uh, Kanuko Ugusa and Thomas Tomic. And I knew that the paper they used for their books was pretty good, but I didn't, you know, for, for this one, it just makes such a difference. It's such, such a heavy book. It's um, very impressive. And um, yeah, really regret that I don't have the other books in, in the Dutch version now, but from now on, only the Dutch version. I have um, Maria Troller's um, new coloring book Flora also on pre-order from this publisher. So it will be a couple more months before, before it actually gets to me. But yeah, can't wait. Love this book. Um, then I got my first Heather Valentin um, book. I've also made a flip through and review video that you might have seen on my channel. Um, I absolutely fell in love with her illustrations um, lately. So I got a couple of PDF um, pictures and wanted to have a physical copy of this too, but I'm really disappointed in the in the quality. This is um, also a create space um, and I think the paper paper quality is bad and the picture quality is pretty um, subpar too. Like the, the printing, not the quality of the illustration itself, but the printing. Um, so I don't, I think this will also stay my last Heather Valentin um, book. Um, as far as I can actually get them digitally, I don't think she sells all of her books digitally. I think there are a couple that I, that are on my wish list that are only available as great space but if i can get it digitally then i will instead of physical yeah but this is illuminations by heather valentin um the illustrations are wonderful if you want to have a full flip through and review i have the video up on my channel then i got this month's um woodlands woodland fairy special um 
with 40 pictures by Christine Karen, her fairies pictures. Um, it's a um, collection of 10 new pictures and um, pictures from her fairies one and her fairies two book. Um, some in line art, some in grayscale. Um, wonderful, wonderful book. Um, even though I absolutely love Christine's art, I don't own any books or even um, digital books by her. I don't know why. I think um, I could never decide whether I wanted to get them in grayscale or line art and then I, in the end I didn't, didn't purchase them. So um, I'm very, very happy about um, that Coloring Heaven came out with a collection of her pictures, of Christine's pictures. And um, I also did a video about um, this magazine and um, did a little um, looked at where the pictures that are in the magazine come from. So if you're interested in that, have a look at that video. Now we're almost through my pile. This is also one I did a video of. As you can tell, I did a lot of, um, I got a lot of super good um, books this month, man. Um, I love this I, uh, book. This is the Princess Coloring Book by Anne Kronheimer. The German edition has a wonderful um, cover with um, glitter that you can feel. It's like a relief or something. And this is just the sweetest, the sweetest book. It just um, has um, all kinds of princesses from different nations, more the classical fairy tale princess with the little dragons. This is just my absolute favorite picture ever. But also princesses from all um, from other nationalities from all over the world. Like here, she's Egyptian, and um, this is more like classical Europe. And um, yeah, so it's fantasy, but also like more real time. This is um, she. She looks like Rapunzel, and she looks like I don't know, maybe Hawaiian. All around gorgeous, wonderful book. Thank you very much, V, um, who showed it on her channel. That's where I saw it for enabling me to get this. These last books were um, enabled by Steph from Red Tifa Coloring, I think her channel is called. And these things are just the sweetest thing. Um, these are very tiny coloring books. Um, let me see whether I have a good comparison. So this is the Coloring Heaven and this is the <laughs> this coloring book. I think they are German. I don't know whether you can get them anywhere else. And these are just tiny, tiny scenes. This is the spring coloring book. Um, and they are by Gretz Verlag. And the artist for a lot of them is Uti Kaden. And each of those was one euro. So um, I couldn't help myself. This is spring, it's so sweet. Then summer, just doing a little impressions for you. I love the little um, mice. And they're aimed at kids, um, but yeah, they have enough details, I think. This is autumn. This is basically just Halloween, by the way. It's <laughs> so sweet. Um, yeah, they have enough um, details, I feel, you know, to be... I don't know. I think they're a bit more too complicated for children. Too. I love these. And this is winter. And this is weedus with the kitten and the mouse on top here. And just you know this is just something quick for in between or maybe something that you could um, take along and color on the go and um, this is um, Abenteuer am Meer Adventures at Sea um, also by Uti Carden and um, this is the little adventures of the cat and her friends So, I mean, Steph, thank you so much for showing these. I didn't know they existed. They're just the sweetest thing. This is the princess coloring book. Again, the same thing, just with princess. Just um, all of these tell a little story in their way. 
I'm also by Uti Carden. And this is the pirate coloring book. And this is a different um, artist. This is Annette Rudolph. So the art style is a bit different. And this is, has more uh, bigger spaces. But since this is so tiny, the big spaces are still pretty small. Yeah, all pirates <laughs> and pirate treasures. And wonderful. And there are um, a couple more in this series that I will also for sure get because I think these are just a treasure. I forgot to show you one book uh, and that is because it wasn't in my pile um, of uh, books that I want to show you but I took it out because I started actually coloring in this. This is uh, the coloring book of Flowers and Sweet Girls by Dada Ma. So it's um, I think my second um, Chinese coloring book and you see that the theme of that I really like anime um, style, manga style at the moment um, continues. This is um, a book where you have like a picture of a girl wearing a beautiful dress on one side and then you have the other on the other side you have the dress and everything is themed after one um, flower. And as per usual with um, Dada Ma's books, you have uh, um, colored versions of it in here. And I started coloring the column flower here. Um, our dear Gia asked me whether I could do this and um, I'll try and make a video series out of it. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. But this is my first try. So yeah, this is the book of flowers and sweet girls. Super, super cute. Love this book. Yeah, these, uh, this was my coloring book haul for the month of May. Um, it actually didn't take quite as long as I thought it would be. Uh, even though it's an impressive amount of books. Um, I've been in, in April, I was super good with the color, color your hoard hashtag and got a lot of um, you know, books da uh, started where I hadn't any new, new um, where I didn't have any pictures done before. And um, yeah, this is a pretty big setback. But as you've seen, all of these are wonderful books. I'm so happy um, that I have um, them in my collection now. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.